I'm Sharon Bill, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is what we've been waiting for and finally hot off the press I have the brand new 2019 Music Theory Practice Papers. They became available only four days ago and so I've been working really hard all weekend and my hubby's really helped me so thank you hubby. And I've got paper A from each grade, one, two, three, four, five, all scheduled to go and then um, I'm going to keep the others following on in rotor so you're going to get access to all of the 2019 practice papers uh, they're coming out every day um, and you can just get cracking on these brand new past exam papers and I thought this vlog would be a good idea to explain to you how to get the most out of your practice papers and also how to get the most out of the videos that I'm doing to accompany them to help you so you get maximum revision and then that will help you get maximum exam marks too. And so the first thing I suggest you do once you've worked through all of your music theory and practice workbooks is work through some past papers as a mock exam. If you don't feel quite ready to do that, maybe you could start with one paper and just work through with me as we go working together. So you'd watch the video, press pause, have a go, watch the video, press pause, and just kind of follow through with me step by step. But as soon as you can, get going on a mock exam mode. And that means uh, no peeping, no peeping at answers. Um, the timing issue, you could try one and take as long as you like, but as soon as you can, get into working out your exam timings and keeping a track on how long it takes you to complete each exam paper. It doesn't matter if you go wrong. Always work in pencil, even on exam day, because if you're not neat and tidy, you risk losing marks. But if you make mistakes, it's okay. You will learn much more thoroughly by making those those mistakes you will learn more sort of a deep knowledge if you just copy it's a passive learning and it just bounces off your head and you forget it really really quickly and whatever mistakes you make that is your clue as to what you need to revise a little bit more on so that's your sort of flag system to then say right I need to go back and look at that and in each of the videos I've put links in the cards and in the descriptions to the grade playlist so that you can go back to the music theory and practice workbook and just recap on any section that you think you're feeling a little bit rusty on um, so do always go back and just rework certain subjects on top of that I've done um, a link in the cards and in the description to a, a music theory for everyone playlist and that covers all sorts of different topics from whether it's drawing a treble clef and that is not actually something to be sniffed at it's really tricky and actually it's funny to see some of the composers the really famous composers their treble clefs are shocking and so if you want some practice on drawing a treble clef pop into my music theory for everyone playlist and you get a little bit of a tutorial helping you to do that also there's help in the pdf so if you go to sharonbill.com and on the relevant topic you'll find lots of revision in the pdfs and there's also some uh, tracings of a treble clef there it's a funny thing it's like um music stands no matter how many years i'm dealing with music stands i still can't seem to put them up and down in a sophisticated manner i, I just um always seem to look like an amateur treble clefs i seem to do okay 99 times out of 100 and then every one percent i'll just just do this random scribble i think, oh, don't know what quite happened there but it goes right the way through on this playlist music theory for everyone from drawing a treble clef to things like much more advanced like following your key structures how to work all your key signatures your related keys looking at intervals in much more depth so if you feel like you want a little bit more extra work on a particular topic just follow the links in the video cards and description to take you to various areas to really maximize the work that you get from each of these exam papers and you keep repeating that process over and over again on lots and lots of different papers 
until you're getting really, really top marks. So you keep going through all the papers. And there are so many papers out there. I've done from 2014, and now 15, 16, 17, 18, and now 19 is there. So you've so many past papers to be going, you're not gonna run out of revision material. So everything that you need is right here for you. Follow the links in the videos, make use of all of the resources that are available to help you. And it really is just a matter of sort of consistent hard work and taking responsibility to really sort of engage your brain. And you've got everything you need to get absolutely top marks. And I'm really looking forward to getting stuck in. I'm going to be working away on these papers just as you're doing your revision too. So I'm sure that together we've got this. Best wishes for your studies, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.